Today I'm going to do a boil test on one of my fan force gas fire stoves. A buddy of mine wanted me to build them one so I could take it hunting so I could he says he wants to roast a bratwurst on top of it. I think he's just gonna boil coffee myself. But anyway it's the one on the right there is the one I'm gonna to test today. The one on the left is the prototype that I started off. It's kinda of interesting because it's got a air control there so you can uh, choke down the primary air going into that. And then the one in the middle is a my attempt at a miniaturization. It's still a work in progress. But anyway, I'll get the other one loaded up and we'll give her a try. Alright, I'm going to be testing the stove I built for my buddy so I can take it hunting. It's just your ordinary gasifier stove with a fan on it. You got a CPU fan out of a laptop blows into this hole here in that can and then it blows air around and up the primary where it comes out along these secondary air holes where they call them but anyway I was going to try using some twigs but it's rained so much around here lately there isn't any dry twigs to be found so I chopped up some kindling so loaded up that You want to load this stove to where it's the wood's right below the air secondary air holes. You don't want it above the holes because that'll tend to smolder and smoke quite a bit when you first start it up. You want to tap that to get the wood to settle good because you want the wood in there pretty pretty tightly packed. That's why uh, wood pellets work so good because they packed down really well, plus they're a lot denser than just plain wood or some of the wet twigs. stove like that you don't want to pour fluid down into it because it'll the fluid will soak down into the wood and, and it'll start firing from below which is not what you want. I usually just get some shavings and put on top and light light shavings to get the thing going but in the interest of saving time because it's about like 34 degrees out here and I'm freezing. I'm gonna cheat and use Boy, Boy Scout starter fluid, so to speak. See if that's enough. This is a kind of an insulator uh, but more than that, it's a flame concentrator. The flames will shoot into this, and they'll have to go out and then up, and it makes the flame more concentrated to get on the bottom of the pot. It tends to make it more efficient. And it's just a coffee can windscreen. This isn't any ultralight backpacking setup. I'll show you that. Ubiquitous uh, Imusu grease pot. Two cups of water right out of the well. That's usually about 55, 60 degrees when it comes up out of the well. All right. Light her up. Starting the clock. Plug the 
put that bird on there. Uh, I don't think I put enough juice on it. Usually, don't get it smoking all out of it. I didn't let it burn long enough. Matter of fact, just let it burn a little bit longer. Still gonna get some smoke out of it. It'll settle down here pretty quick. I hope. Holy mackerel. Now that's disappointing. Screw that up. Okay, how many times have you heard this? Kids, do not try this at home. Do not do this. Not the safest way to get your stove going. Yeah. Quick shot of what that looks like. Air cleaned up, it's not smoking now. Hope you don't mind me getting in the picture, but I'm going to warm my hand. It's cold out here this morning. When I was messing around with this, trying to get the air holes the right size and right configuration, I actually got a four and a half minute boil from the time I lit the stove till the time the water was boiling. I was at the edge of my garage, so I mean it wasn't like I was out in the cold weather, but still I thought that was pretty good boil time. I don't know what we're going to get today. This is the coldest I've tried it, so I may not get a boil at all, but I'm having fun. pickups, I hate them.
Yeah, the parts, pot's starting to sing. And it's five minutes since I lit it. Probably been about three minutes since I put the pot on. I'm gonna pop the top and take a look. Oh, it's boiling. Got a pretty hot fire going this morning. This off and show you, maybe. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Let me take my glove off here. I'll lift the pot and show you what the flame looks like. Ouch, that is hot. It's almost uh, burnt down to nothing. Now it's two cups of water. I don't know if I said that or not. And I think the fire's just about out. Still simmering pretty good though. So I'm gonna call that. Ran for six minutes, 38 seconds. You know, boiled water in five minutes, 38 seconds. Now if you load that thing up with wood pellets, man, you got a blast furnace. Thing will burn for 15, 20 minutes. I mean, I'm sure you could probably probably get at least a quart of water boiling off from it. But anyway, I think Tom's going to be happy. He ought to keep his bratwurst warm when he's out hunting.